Hi, on this video I will explain how to start and run your own VOD module on Movies Everywhere. Here I am on the dashboard, the main page of this uh, account, which is a demo account. We call it Arthouse Films, but just a demo, so please ignore the content. In the dashboard I will uh, click on Media Manager and then on VOD. These are the two things I will manage. VOD is composed of two parts. One is <coughs> the film itself, which is stored in the Media Manager. And then the VOD is where we create the selling page. So first we have to upload a film and manage its uh, metadata in the Media Manager. And then we will create a selling page or selling pages in the VOD section. Let's start with a Media Manager. Here I have all the files, the media films which I uploaded and managed so far. I will click here on three because it's uh, a particular film which I want to show you. And here I see a film which was already uploaded to the system. Let me go into it. We can see here that it has, again, an overview page. It has an image which was uploaded. <coughs> it has also a file which was uploaded to Movies Everywhere server and encoded. Encoded means it's also encrypted. And if I want to upload a new file, I can do it here. And it goes to our server itself. Please note that only MP4 and Move QuickTime file are supported in up to 10 gigabytes. And once you import them, they are encrypted. You can also import from Google Drive. If you do it, you have to authorize access to your Google Drive. And as for the image, let me go back to it. There is a recommendation if you want to upload it, that it would be, um, first of all, it's limited to maximum size one megabyte, so the f page will not load too slow. And secondly, the recommended uh, proportions are 16 by 9 um, because this is how the display looks good on Movies Everywhere. It's, uh, I mean, it's adapted to our design. As you can see here, the image is 16 by 9. So if you would upload a, um, a vertical picture, it will look bad. It will have um, gaps, spaces on the right and the left. Let's go back to it. Here I'm on in the me again in the Media Manager in the film, particular film which I pre-uploaded, which is called 300 of a second. And I was going, I went into the Media Files tab and I, and I uploaded um, an image and a video into Movies Everywhere server. Every video which is uploaded is encoded and encrypted and runs directly from our server. Then we go to the metadata. And the metadata is simply how we describe the film. We can add, a, um, of course, a title, duration, um, director name, a producer name, and a synopsis, which is not limited. As you can see, this box is free edit. So you can add, if you want, remember that I mentioned before the vertical image. If you want to add a vertical image, you can add it here. Sorry, um, it's video uh, image. You can upload it here, and then um, it will appear in the text area, which is, let me go to the VOD page as it looks to the viewers. This is the area which you can add freely, also not only text, but also links and images. If you want to add, for example, a vertical image or a biography of the director or whatever you want. Here you can also add a trailer uh, for the film. The trailer will look at the front end to the viewers like this. Watch trailer and it will happen here. The trailer will also run from our own server. Let me go back to the editing. We'll get to the page as it looks to the viewers later. So we um, have uh, mainly two tabs, which are the media files, where we, I upload the main picture and the, media, media, and the video file, and the metadata, which is uh, the simply um, title, um, credits, synopsis, or whatever you want to add. As I said, you can freely edit that part with anything you want, add links to it, it's totally free for you to edit. You can ignore this part. Um, it will not appear in the front end. And um, there is an explanation to why it appears here, but I will not, it's it beyond the scope of this video. So please ignore it. So once I uploaded a film in the Media Manager, I'm ready to create a page from it. It's for the VOD. So then I go to the VOD page. And here you can see that there are a few VOD items already um, uh, that exist here. Let me go to the, this one, which is, uh, I call it um, a second VOD. 
and because this second VOD um, is a VOD that is, uh, has the film that we saw before, 300th of a second. And if I go to the about the VOD, I can see that I can set the rental period. That means that uh, once a payment was made, the film will be available for 72 hours for that particular viewer. It's uh, personal for each viewer. In the basic details, I can uh, give it the title. And the title doesn't have to be the film name. I could call it uh, three hundredths of a second uh, as the film, but I could also call it in another name like I just did before. The organization um, body could be any production company or partner, whatever, you can ignore it as well. And in the Manage Media, I would actually go into the Media Manager and pull the film from there. Remember, what I did is that I created in advance this film, 300 of a second. Now I attach the film to the VOD item because the VOD item serves for me as a place where I can set the details of the sale itself, rental period, price, geo-blocking, but the film itself, the data about the films comes from the media manager. The way we um, attach here the film or films, we can, uh, by the way, you can um, chain a few films together in one VOD item, is this is where the media manager and the VOD connect by this part, which is manage media item. Uh, the next would be custom text, which will appear um, in the email sent to the buyer once they bought the video. Uh, you can write here whatever you want. This will appear in larger text, and this will appear in smaller text. You can also ignore it, and that will be empty. And you can also add a pre-roll. That's not a trailer. A pre-roll is something that runs automatically before the film. It could be a sponsor video or a production company opener, whatever you want. And uh, then you can geoblock. You can limit the use of the, the, the uh, availability uh, by countries or uh, cities. I wouldn't recommend using cities, but you can uh, either allow or block whatever you want. Uh, that, that's different logic. And there we get to the monetization where you can set a price. Please note that once you create a VOD item and publish it, you cannot change the price. This is for several reasons, which are not limitations, but are connected to the way we calculate the revenue and your part. So if you want to change the price, it's better to create another VOD item and, and and not try to change the price. I mean, you cannot change the price once the VOD was sold for the first time. In the player configuration, I would go into details, but you can go over the options and see that you have a few options to configure. Uh, it's quite self-explanatory, and if you don't understand it, hover your mouse over the, the eye, and you will see a short explanation about it. The next last thing is whether to we decide to publish it or not. Don't forget to publish it. Save and publish, otherwise it will not appear. And you can also save it as draft and publish it later. You can also take, create, um, uh, you can also make an, an already available um, VOD and make it unpublished by creating save as draft. So draft makes it offline, I mean unpublished, and publish, of course, makes it published. Now you want to see how it looks like. So now I save it uh, again, although it was already saved. And once it's saved, I will go to the front end to see its... Um, um, let me refresh the page. Okay, it's done. And uh, let, let, I, I want to see how it looks like to the viewer. So let's um, go to it again. That's a 300 of a second. I will click on this uh, chain icon to copy the link. I will go to the other tab and paste it. And this is how it looks like to the viewers. So we have here a page uh, with a price, with the option to buy it. Uh, with the geo-blocking and everything in, in, the, in, in the background. Everything we, s we put in the media manager appears here. The image, the text, and of course the media file that will run, the trailer that will run, etc. Now, I, m I guess you might have a question also about the design. This page is designed in a certain way, but it could look totally different. If you go back to the account, you can see here that if you go to the settings and click on theme, you can change the logo, um, you can change different colors and the um, uh, chain, choose a font. It's quite self-explanatory and you can play with it. There is a dark theme and a light theme. You can just play with it, save, and then you have your own um, branded page uh, adapted to your needs. That's it. Good luck.